even in the heat of Europe's sizzling entertainment capital, attractions come no bigger, no more compulsive. The eight wonders of the darting world produced the greatest sharpshooting show on earth in their quest for silverware. It was sheer carnage. A world champion out. Fourth seed, out. A world champion, out. Even the greatest ever, out. Another dazzling night lies ahead of us at the Winter Gardens. Who will blossom? Who will wither in the heat of the lights and the moment? No time and no place for stage fright. This is the Winter Gardens at Blackpool, where there is a real air of expectancy as we reach the semi-final stage of the 1998 World Match Play Championship. A very good evening to you. There have been more shocks here at the Winter Gardens this week than on Blackpool's ghost trains. Of the top ten seeds, only the world number one, Rod Harrington, has survived. His opponent tonight, Keith Deller, is having his finest week for 15 years. Chris Mason, a 101 outsider at the start of play this week, is having the finest week of his life. And his opponent, Ronnie Baxter, last night enjoyed the finest victory of his life. Here's a sample of the atmosphere and the drama of an amazing set of quarterfinals. Uh, Rodney has got his eye on the match now. Three vital darts. Wants the bull to take the game with brilliant style. The Prince. Manley's is playing the same game. His first is scored to go back to 40. Gambling that Della won't get 127. If he gets treble 19 and bull, then Manley will be sorry. Oh! Yes! oh so did it! it. So can Beaton possibly get back soon? Looks angry. He hasn't done enough to get back yet. He hasn't showed the extra gear. Yeah. Oh, look at what this guy can do when he makes a bluff. But don't write a power off by any means. He's the best oh, dance player in the world. You can't afford to do that. Yeah. Yeah. A night of high emotion and high passions, and there are the results. Rod Harrington edging out Bob Anderson in an epic encounter. Keith Della sweeping aside the fourth seed, Peter Manley. Chris Mason playing the darts of his life against Steve Beaton, and Ronnie Baxter producing the upset of this week, the upset of any week, in beating Phil Taylor by 13 legs to 10. And so, this is how they line up in the semi-finals. Rod Harrington, warm favourite now for the 1998 World Match Play title. And uh, he takes on Keith Della, the 1983 world champion, and Chris Mason against Ronnie Baxter. Both hard to call. Now, before we get the views of an expert, let's uh, take a look at what the bookmakers make of it all. Rod Harrington, odds on favourite now. Seven to four on to lift the title. Ronnie Baxter and Chris Mason both at nine to two and Keith Deller, uh, perhaps reflecting the fact that he plays the favourite Rod Harrington, the 7-1 to one outsider of four. Remember Mason, by the way, 100-1 to one at the start of the week. Those odds have come tumbling in. Now that I've been joined this evening by the uh, double former world champion, Dennis Priestley. Evening to you, Dennis. Good evening, Jeff. Uh, now then, let's concentrate on the first match, shall we, uh, Dennis? Uh, Rod Harrington against Keith Deller. Harrington, the world number one now, but he still has to do it on the televised stage at the big event. Yeah, that's right. Um, obviously, Rod's going to try and prove it to himself uh, more than anything. That's, that's who he's got to convince himself that he's, he's capable of uh, going on and winning this title. Um, obviously, with all the shocks, what's happened, and I think it's been very interesting and very good for darts that quite a few things have happened as uh, of they have. Um, what uh, what I like about it, there's so many nice stories along the along the week. You know, I mean, Keith Della coming back and uh, showing some real vintage form. 
you know, nice to see Chris Mason um, coming through as an underdog. Um, with some great performances. Yeah. From um, Harrington's point of view, I know you were impressed with the way he's battled when he's had his back to the wall. Yeah. That's that's the sign of a of a, a champion or a champion to be. Um, uh, last night or whenever they played, I don't know whether it was last night or afternoon. Um, Bob looked like the winner to me, you know, and then again, Rob pulled him out, an 11 dart leg, and then the final leg with the darts, um, he, he actually took 301 out in six darts, a 180 in a 121 check yeah, to, to go through. I mean, re remarkable, and that's that's probably why you become champions. It's when you find something when, when you know, and like you said, your back's against the wall. Yeah. Keith Teller says that he's been trying to approach matches here as if he was playing exhibitions in a bingo hall, but you know. You've been out there in this situation on a night like this. Can you relax? Um, well, if, if you are uh, relaxed too much, that's, that's when you're going to lose. I mean, I lost my first, first uh, round game and I was really relaxed. I, I would have been able to... I always analysed my game and I thought, well, if I'd have been nervous when I was missing them doubles or uptight or something like that, and it just wasn't that, you know, so you can be too relaxed. You've got to be on some type of uh, edge. OK, Dennis, uh, Harrington or Della, who for you? Uh, I think it's going to be a great match. Um, obviously, I'm just going to go for, for the favourite, Rod Harrington, just to come through. I think okay. it'll be a great game. Both, both semis. OK, thanks very much indeed, Dennis. So Please. it's Rod Harrington for Dennis Priestley, but what about the players themselves? Who do they think will win? Yes, I'm going to win uh, and win convincingly. I'm confident of that. I could win the tournament. I've beaten uh, two very high-seeded players this week. I've been world champion, I've been British champion. I know what a big stage is all about. And if I get the chance to win the semi-final and the final, I'll take it. He knows what my game's like, uh, heavy scoring. Um, and um, I'm going to hopefully put him under too much pressure. Hanging from the rafters here in the Winter Gardens for these semi-finals. Rod Harrington, the world number one. I know he's had a sleepless night. He lost in the semi-finals here. Last year, clearly concerned that it might happen again. Keith Geller has just been sitting quietly in the rooms here behind the, behind the Oki, psyching himself up for his biggest night for a long, long, long time. Let's join our MC, Phil Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Winter Garden Theatre here in Blackpool. For the PDC World Match Play Dance Championship, Introducing on stage for our first semi-final match, please welcome former World Darts Champion, for whom things can only get Della 